y'all, and welcome to Poco the Days with CP. I'm your girl CP, and on this particular episode, we're gonna be talking about booster packs. So sometimes you wanna buy a booster pack because it is probably almost always the most effective cost option. So especially if you're a lot younger and you don't have a lot of cash to burn and spend, uh, a booster pack typically ranges around $3 through to $5, depending on how hype the uh, card set is, if uh, the store you're going to marks them up. Um, places like GameStop don't do markups, so if you're able to get your hands on some booster packs, they do sell them individually at GameStop that I've seen um, at retail value. And so uh, sometimes this is your most cost efficient option. And so, you know, you never know what you're going to hit. You could hit a super rare card or you could have a super trash uh, hand and it's just that's all on the risk and it's part of the fun of playing So what Jason and I have figured out is if we buy tins or boxes Those actually probably have much better lucks in some of the hits and is sometimes worth a little bit better in terms of cost efficiency um, So like if we were to end up going to a second hand like card distributor like a game a card store uh, There's a lot of markup on the booster packs. Sometimes those boxes or tins are actually worth a little bit uh, are a little bit better in savings um, and you probably get more packs out of it anyway so like um, the tin I opened up recently I bought that at markup for like $50 usually around $30 and there's about six cards in there uh, some packs like ETBs those come with like 10 booster packs and those usually start at $49.99 or $59.99 retail and man if it's a brand new drop for Pokemon especially with all of the scalpers out there they could go upwards of 100 to 150 dollars and 150 dollars is a lot pushing upwards of 100 dollars for an etb is an extreme markup so don't do it don't give into the scalpers and if you really 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 can try to get it at retail i know it's super hard because it's everyone's trying to get their hands on cards but yes so that is just my feedback on just pokemon cards in general and booster packs but yeah i just that's just what's going on in the TCG right now. And a lot of you who are just getting into Pokemon, uh, you're gonna probably wanna find out what's the best way to sort of get the best cards. And uh, sometimes uh, you don't always have like thousands of cards that you could choose from to be able to build your own deck. Um, so like in the past couple of months, we've opened a ton of cards. So we have thousands of cards that I'm able to make my own deck. And sometimes you don't have that. So what you can do is start off with a regular battle deck. So here's an example of a battle deck. This is a Blastoise V battle deck. In here, it comes with everything you'll need to be able to start the game. So it comes with your Pokemon, it comes with your supporters, it comes with items, and it comes with energy. And so you could literally take this, put them into some sleeves, and start your gameplay right away. Well, once you start playing with a game deck, you're gonna want to alter your deck a little bit and maybe there's a few Pokemon you wanna switch out, maybe you wanna add V cards, maybe there's certain trainers or items you'd like to include in your set. And so there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, you could buy um, big packs, uh, booster packs, if especially you're trying to look for a specific kind. You could also buy individual cards, but sometimes you're sort of strapped for cash and you could really only afford one booster pack. So then within the game itself, there are themes like sun and moon, sword and shield, XY, and within those cards, there's expansion sets. So that's where you'll see something like vivid voltage or champion's path. And so they're all sort of different. Um, it's just depending on what cards are available, what's being printed, uh, what region of Pokemon are being focused in on like is it Alola is it Kanto is it Hoenn you know it's really dependent on the season of Pokemon cards you are looking for so there's a lot of research to be done if you are just getting started right now one of the hardest packs to sort of get but it is the latest is the Sword and Shield battle styles and so Sword and Shield is the main theme battle styles is the expansion to that and so there's going to be a lot of different cards different gameplay available in that particular set I'm gonna sort of talk about uh, what is within the booster pack itself and how sometimes you could go through a couple hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, looking for particular cards, opening packs. I mean, the thrill is within opening the packs for sure, since you have no idea what you're going to get. There's always some hope, like in this particular one, Shining Fates, that you know I'd hope to get either a full art Eevee, uh, is it Poke Kid in the Eevee cosplay? Hella cute or you know, the highly coveted uh, Charizard VMAX shiny 
Is it V-Max? Yeah, it's, I'll put the little image right here. But you know, those are some of the highly coveted rare cards. I'll open this pack and we'll talk about it. And then some cards that are missing from here, I'll show you a few other things that you could expect from a booster pack. But again, this is all random. This is luck with a draw. Could be anything from Pokemon, trainers, support, uh, support trainers, support items. And then there's also like the art style. So there's gonna be hollow, non-hollow, full art rare rare all those super rare cards and so that goes really more into uh, the details of the card types um, so for now let's just go ahead and open up this booster pack and then let's just dissect it a little bit so we're gonna open up this pack and when i open up on this channel and if you watch a lot of those who open up a lot of pokemon cards they'll take out the pack like so and there's always this card that comes with it. Sometimes this background is white, sometimes it's green. For this particular pack I'm opening, Shining Fates, it actually all has white cards, so it's kind of a, uh, that are all kind of special. Um, usually there's sometimes green cards, and so that means that there isn't really a hollow in your mix, but if you open up a pack and there's a white card, you're probably going to have something special in your booster pack. And so uh, I like to actually keep it a mystery so sometimes I like to not look at this card so I'll try my best to not look at the pack uh, or this particular card when I open up the pack so sometimes you'll see it when we open it we'll open up the pack like this and then right away you'll see a Pokemon and the only thing there is you're risking seeing the very first Pokemon but within there it's not usually like a very special one <laughs> no offense but then from there you could just take out the online card and then it'll remain a mystery once you remove that you're gonna have your cards face down and then you count out one two three four by doing so this allows this card right here to potentially be your super rare hella sick card so like if I'm looking for that Charizard or that uh, Poke Kid with the Eevee costume, it's potentially going to be in this particular card, which is the last card you will look at when you flip out your cards. Another thing is the second to the last card is your guaranteed holo card. So you are guaranteed one sort of holo card, depending on what type of holo card it is, is dependent on the pack, of course. Um, so you could either get a like a full art or just a regular like shiny holo card, but these potentially could also be two super rare cards. I've opened up some packs where like I've had double like hell sick. Um, it doesn't happen as often, but it is really nice to have that. And I'll talk about a card I did that earlier later. So uh, once you have that counted out, uh, your very first card is going to be an energy. And on this channel, I like to guess that energy. So why don't you guess that energy? Fire. Okay, so flip. Oh, lightning. Okay, so we started off with a lightning energy. In all of your decks, you're going to need some sort of energy. You end up having so much energy. We, we have a whole sleeve box just of energy that we don't really use. And like especially these uh, starter decks like these they come with energy already So then you're sometimes overflowing with energy. So um, but these are still excited You still need them for games. So it makes sense to have them in these booster packs and an example of that is like I Wanted to start my fairy deck and fairies are no longer really part in the rotation in the newer sets like sword and shield sun and moon other part of older um, uh, themes and so I, every time I got a fairy one, I was collecting it because I wanted to make a fairy deck. And so I needed X amount to be able to have it. So it just depends on what you're building. Like dragon. I don't think I even have a dragon energy. I don't think I've ever seen one. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. So, so first we have our energy. Then we have our Pokemon. So this is the first Pokemon here. We have another one. This is Dartrix. We have a basic Cramorant. We have a Grookey, an Eevee, a Marpeko, we have a Choodle, a Nicket. Oh! <laughs> well, uh, we got a Rillaboom V, a uh, shiny Rillaboom V, so that's really cool. Oh shit, my bad, I'm not showing on camera. So that's uh, super exciting. <laughs> Uh, it's funny, so I actually got this particular pack from a uh, tin, and I didn't hit anything in the first five, and I, for this final one, I was like, I'm going to open it on another video, and sure enough, here I go, I got the special card, I got a full uh, Rillaboom V, so that's a V type card, and let's see if we get anything underneath, okay, and see, it's just a basic card there, so I only got one hit in this 
particular pack, but it was still an awesome hit. So there are 11 cards that include the energy, but you do get 10 additional cards. So uh, as you see here, this is a not a very good spread in my booster pack. The only benefit of this particular booster pack was I got a Rillaboom V and he looks in hella sick and I got an energy, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down a little bit and I'm gonna add some other cards in here that you may want to search for or that you could potentially hit in a booster pack. So here is a Lapras V Max. Um, so in a Lapras V, you could also pull a full art supporter card like this. You could also pull um, some shiny energy. So that's a really pretty energy card. And this was one that I pulled, and this is a super rare uh, card, Eternatus VMAX. And so I pulled this from a Shining Fates uh, booster pack, but this is some, these are just sort of examples of things that you can pull out while you're opening up a booster pack. So other items you could usually pull when you're opening up a booster pack is something like a rusted sword or Pokeballs, the Pokeballs help you get out different uh, Pokemon faster, just depending on what it says in the description. Uh, you could also pull out regular supporter cards like this, Professor's Research is a really good way to move your hand around if you don't like what's in your current hand and you wanna get a new set. So you might be wondering, why would you want to invest in booster packs? So like, let's say, let's go back to the very beginning and let's say you started off with a basic theme deck like this and you wanted to start building a different set of Pokemon. Like let's say you have a super, super favorite um, water type Samurott. So I'm gonna use Samurott as my example since I have him in my water deck. To get Samurott, you need to start with a Oshawott, which is a basic Pokemon. Then you need to evolve him to a Duwatt, which is a uh, stage one Pokemon. And then the final evolution is a stage two, which would be Duwatt. And so you could either one, open up a bunch of packs and hopefully you pick up those cards or you could buy them individually and things like that. So if you actually look at the spread of Pokemon I pulled from this particular opening, uh, they were all sort of basics and um, with the exception of Eldegoss. So none of these were evolutions, they're all basic level Pokemon. If you have an Eldegoss and you wanna use it, fortunately it's not something you could put in your deck right away without having the evolution from Gossifloor. And so there is also a third evolution uh, to this particular Pokemon um, that you would also need to be able to search for. And so by opening booster packs, you end up getting a ton, like, a ton of repeats of some of like the basic ones. Like I have so many more Pecos like just here on my desk alone that I opened from like five packs. And so sometimes uh, like my last pool, I had two more Pecos in one pack. And so I was very angry about that, but whatever it happens. <laughs> and so it's really risky, um, but it is super, super exciting when you do pull a really fun card, like a VMAX card or a secret rare. And of course I'm still looking for that Charizard or the Poke Kid with the Eevee cosplay because it's still hella cute. And unfortunately I haven't hit yet. So uh, will I continue to try to pull out booster packs? Uh, maybe not because I spent a lot of money already on this particular expansion, Shining Fates. Or it was actually a reprint of Shining Fates. And so uh, power to all of you who usually do that. But for those who are starting, you know, don't try not to spend too much. If there's a particular set uh, you would like to go through, maybe buy them individually online. It's probably cheaper that way. Uh, that's sort of how I built my fairy deck. There were a few Pokemon I was not able to pull because there's not a lot of Pokemon fairies in, like I said, in the newer um, themes. So I had to buy them individually. Um, but yeah, there is a thrill to opening up booster packs. I hope this video was informative and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I can answer my best, best to my ability. I'm not a professional Pokemon player, but I have been playing for the past couple of months and I wanted to share this knowledge of uh, opening booster packs and why. Why are we doing this? <laughs> so alright y'all, thank you for watching. Until next time, we're gonna catch them all y'all. Alright, I'll see you. Laters! Thank you.